Okay, so we're back and as stated in the assignment, you all are going to be blending two of the fruits, which you can refer to the old videos, but I'll do um, a little bit for this new one and stippling one of the fruits. So I decided to stipple the apple and blend the orange and the banana. So you can start with whatever fruit you want to start with. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to start with my back fruit the banana so I'm gonna blend that okay I'm gonna begin to blend that and most of it the undertone is yellow so I'm gonna shade I'm just gonna mark out quickly the areas that are white in which the banana because it's in the background it doesn't have too much white areas in there but I see a little white area here that I'm gonna mark out okay and it's just really light in some areas um, but that's the only white that I really see. So I'm going to go ahead and start shading this. I'm going to come up here. Okay. So it's easy. I find that certain fruits, smooth, smooth ones are really easy because you can just knock out most of the color in one go. It's not like a mango like I did in the previous video where it has many different colors in it. Excuse me, I have to keep moving the paper because of this crease in my table. So I'm just going to shade the whole thing, this really bright yellow color. And this will form the base of my colors. Now at this point, believe it or not, I'm actually going to erase, uh, well not erase, but I'm going to lighten up some of these lines. Just going to come over with my eraser lightly. Just so it's not as dark, so we don't lose our color. You could still see the line. Okay. Now I'm gonna come with my other colors. Well, I see. Well, I can add that last. The brown spots and stuff because they're the darkest. I'm gonna add them last. So I have green up here, and this line right here is really dark. So I'm just gonna add that in really dark, and I've, over here as well is dark because the light is coming from this direction and the banana is sort of behind the light. So that's why it's getting a lot of shadows. Really dark on this side. And I'm even gonna take some black because that's a bit of a shadow. Or you can take brown um, to make it an easier transition to make that shadow. I'm just gonna bounce between all of these colors There's some green in there as well. I'll throw here some green. I'm going to move fairly lightly. I'm going to add this line with the green also. And 
this side has more brown. So if your banana is freshly ripe, then you will be working just as I am if you're using a banana um, because it should have a fair amount of spots in there. I'm going to come back in with the deeper yellow. Or you can use orange if that's what you have, just use it lightly. more of the true color of the fruit. And again, it's really, sorry, really dark on that side. So I'm going to come with the brown again. Really dark to add that shadow. And I think I even need black to add the shadow in because it's very, very dark. And you will just need to take your time with this because some of the pieces I saw, I can tell that you all were sort of rushing them, which is what we don't want. You know, we want everybody's piece to look like they took their time doing it. They took pride in their work. So that's what we want. I'm taking the brown now to blend it a little bit. It's a bit of a softer transition. Same thing down here. And it's really dark on this side this time, so I'm gonna come with my black. And there's a bit of a shadow in here. It's not as harsh. And I see a little bit of green on this side, but not much. It's more yellow. So I'm just going to add a touch of green. Like the smallest touch. And I'm going to come in with my yellow. The deeper yellow. So you can see this looks just like an orange, the color orange, that is, and um, I'm going to blend all of this together. And the line here isn't green, it's more of a brown color, so I'm going to go ahead and add that in with my brown. This is black and brown, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that, add that in. It's a bit textured, so I'm just going to move my pencil, my coloring pencil, in a bit of a squiggly line to add texture. I'm not going to fill in the whole area, and then I'm going to come in with my brown to give it a different color variation that it has. Okay? I'm going to add my brown down here and down here just blend everything out as best as you can 
And then I'm gonna come in with my white color pencil to blend it in even more. Or you could use a really light brown if you have it, like a beige color. But you see that I'm looking to see where it's lighter and where it's darker. Uh, I'm leaving the areas that are light, light. Darkening the areas that are dark. So we can see, so that I'll be able to see that you have a knowledge of tonal value. That you're looking at your fruit and you're seeing where it's lighter, where it's darker, where it's mid-toned, uh, where it's white, where it's black. So we have all the tonal values from the value scale. Okay, and you can see in my banana, there are lots and lots of little spotty dotty things. So um, after I've blended my white, I'm gonna go ahead with my brown and start adding some of those spots. So there's one right here, and they're fairly dark, but they taper out. And I don't even think that's dark enough. I'm gonna get a darker brown on. But you can also use a black and blend the two. I'm just gonna get a dark brown since I have it here, and add these in. So like I said, it's dark in the, in the center, and then it starts to taper out. I have another one over here. Let's just look at the shape. Don't just add them in. So this one is shaped a little differently. Adding that there. Adding this one here. And you don't have to add all in, but just put some in so that we can see, you know, you're looking. Again, we're in art, we want to see that you're looking at what you're drawing. You're not just drawing out of your head. That's not what this class is about. And so there are a lot of dots, so I'm going to just add them in. So my banana is ripening, just about ready to eat. I'm adding those in, and they're tiny, teeny, tiny dots. So we don't normally stipple with a coloring pencil because this banana has tiny dots we're going to go ahead and do that you'll find you'll have to press a little harder you will have to press harder not a little harder you will have to press harder so you can see i'm not adding them all in i'm just getting a variation in different areas so we can see you know what stage the banana is at that you were drawing That's my banana nice and blended. So for the top part, I'm just going to fill that in quickly. Um, it's a very light yellowy brown color. I'm just going to add that in using lines because that's how it looks to me. So I'm going to take a darker brown and go in the other direction. So this um, technique is called hatching, but um, I haven't added too much just now, so I'm going to try and erase a little bit.
Okay, so in the next video we're going to stipple the apple.